and Aerial Heights Company has been a major player in the steel industry for over 50 years. KXY4's Derek Dice takes us behind the scenes of Metals Fabrication Company in this week's Made in the Northwest. Metals Fab was founded in 1966. It became and continues to be a success because of this very simple promise. We do what we say we're gonna do. And in construction, that, that's kind of tough to pull off sometimes. Schedule is very important. And it's helped the Airway Heights company become the biggest structural steel producer in the state. On track to produce 15 to 17,000 tons of fabricated product this year out of this 20 acre facility, which employs about 125 people, including many who've been here for decades. Todd Weaver and his sister, Sarah Weaver Lundberg, bought the company from dear old dad, even though taking over the family business was never the plan. We absolutely swore we would never work for metals fabrication. But these days, Todd and Sarah can't help but beam with pride at the company's work. I can drive around town and annoy my family with telling them all the buildings we were involved in. You may not know it, but you see Metal Fab's work all over town in places like the Skybridge here at Lewis and Clark High School. The McCarthy Athletic Center here on the Gonzaga campus was also built using their structural steel. And soon, 1,100 tons of metal fab steel will be used here at the new construction at the Spokane Convention Center. I think we're looking at a couple pieces that are 20 tons each, and uh, then, then um, uh, we've got some beams that are simpler on the job too, but, but a lot of complex stuff on that project, we're working for Garco. But it's far from the only big project Metals Fab is involved in right now. Doing a medical office building right now down in the Tri-Cities, some uh, schools in Hawaii, a uh, couple big jobs for Amazon, a couple 38-story towers over in Seattle right now for Amazon. Weaver says what sets the company apart is its ability to do a wide variety of steel fab. And we can do a two-ton remodel job with them up to a seven, eight thousand ton tower. Uh, we're able to do trusses, we're able to do simple beam work, we're able to do stairs. But the next step is to continue adding new technology like this flame cutting saw drill in order to do the same kind of work faster. Uh, that's the name of the game to be inexpensive and, and on time. So that over the next 50 years, Metals Fab can keep the same simple promise it's kept over its first 50. From Maine the Northwest, I'm Derek Dice, KXLY4 News.